I did. I had to do it. I had to do it for the next project. So I miss it already, but it'll, it'll fluctuate back and forth, I'm sure. <laughs> well, it looks good on you. Are there any hair colors you haven't tried yet that are, that are still on your list? I don't know. I've never been brunette. So we'll see. I don't know. My thing is I'm so terrified of changing my hair color until it comes to a job. If a job tells me to do it, then I have to, and I don't really have a choice, and it, it gives me the courage. But I'll never do it on my own. Really? Yeah, I would never. <laughs> it looks great on you. You look fabulous. Okay, so Valentine's Day is right around the corner. What are your Valentine's Day plans? Um, my Valentine's Day plans, I will be on set. So I will probably curl up with some popcorn and a movie and a few cast members and uh, spend the day. And what will you be on the set of? I can't say yet, but uh, it's coming out probably in the next week or two, what, what it is. But it's going to be a lot of fun, and I can't wait. Okay, I'm excited. So in honor of Valentine's Day, who is your celebrity crush? Ooh, um, hmm. Have to be either Fred Astaire or Ryan Gosling, because, I mean, I can't choose between the two. <laughs> Okay, and if you had to come out with a television about yourself, a television show, what would you call it? Oh gosh, I don't know what I would call it. Um, probably something like living the life imagined, because that's my favorite quote by Henry David Thoreau, is go confidently in the direction of your dreams, live the life live the life you've imagined. And um, I just love that phrase, and, and I feel like that kind of goes with who I am and what I do and, and all of that. So what is something you imagine? What is one of your like greatest dreams? Well, what, what I do for a living is actually kind of a dream come true. You know, I get to make great art and make art that moves people and, and do something fun and, and play dress up for a living. So it's kind of the best of, of anything I could imagine. And is there anything you haven't done yet, any role you haven't gotten to dress up as yet that you still want to? I'm dying to do a period piece. I really am. Uh, I really want to do a, a good period piece that um, corset and hoop skirt preferred, but any period is great. And I, I want to do one of those really awesome, like, girl girl teenager movies. You know what I mean? Like, like Mean Girls and the, that type of movie. I'm dying to do a film like that. So if you could go back in time to any any time period, would it be the corsets, the hoop skirts? You know, if I had to pick an era to live in, it would probably be the 1940s and 50s. That, I feel like I was born in the wrong era some days, <laughs> but, uh, but I definitely would fit in right there. Well, no, we're glad you're born here in this area. And lastly, we want to know, what was the last film you went to go see? The last film I went to go see was, what was it? Um, I believe it was. What did I just go see? It was something. One of the um, one of the nominees. It was oh, um, Imitation Game. That's the last movie I saw. Amazing. Obsessed with that movie. Benedict Cumberbatch is a genius. Yeah.